Hey everyone, so it has been a crazy few weeks. I have had a new baby, which means my entire YouTube career has been put on hold. <laughs> I like how I describe it as a career. Anyways, so my videos have been really down on views lately since my last two videos. However, like you guys voted, you wanted my opinion on esports. Now before I get all into all this fun, I need to say that of course I am biased of the subject. Um, and that I've also never played competitively. To be honest, I think like the most competitive I've ever been in esports has been playing COD Mobile for ranked uh, for like a month straight when I was like super into that. Uh, and maybe Minecraft, but you know, how competitive can Minecraft actually get? <laughs> Anyways, esports in as whole is a great and amazing industry, but also a clusterfuck. So if you haven't all been living under a rock, over the last few years, we <laughs> over the last few years, you'd be aware that esports has blown up over the world. I mean, they have like major televised events, streaming events, esports bars, huge multi-million organizations, massive brands, like an army of social influencers, Netflix documentaries, and fucking magazines. I mean. I've probably missed some things, but like overall you get the point. Esports has really changed the world. And I mean, kids are now growing up with the whole goal of being like a competitive esports player or being the next big social influencer for an organization like 100 Thieves or FaZe Clans. Like shit, when I was a kid, like kids wanted to be like hockey players or rock stars when I was younger. I mean, I remember hearing about like South Korea hosting a massive Starcraft tournament and when I was like, you know, a kid. And I thought that was like the most amazing thing ever. I would never have thought in a hundred years that this would become like a mainstream event. I mean, I'm not sure how competitive StarCraft is anymore, but you get the idea. <laughs> so as we all know, I made a YouTube channel. I had no idea what I was doing. I made a bunch of socials, start spamming all over the place and also start tweeting a bunch. The sin like this led me down a rabbit hole, which introduced me to esports. I saw an opportunity and a recruitment post from an esports team called Fractured Memories, and I figured I'd apply as a content creator. Lucky for me, however, uh, I got in. <laughs> uh, now, I personally love the community side of being in an esports organization and working with all the other creators within it. However, I was really totally out of my league when it came to streamers. Um, like, you know, I don't stream, I do YouTube, so I have no idea about that side. And, you know, competitive players were also on, like, a different level. Like, hell, I made shitty vlogs on a phone and sometimes, like, made Let's Plays using free mobile games. Anyways, somehow I made it to Lead CC and held that gig for a long time and then moved over to Overall Lead, oddly enough, and then eventually made it into Management. Now with each role I advanced, I did some research, and honestly, I did it to help better myself, but also others I worked with, because I was really in this to, like, for the community aspect of everything, and I wanted to see everyone succeed. So this research I was looking into were all the statistics of esports, from like, tech, like games that counted as esports, the earnings of players, marketing, tournaments, social media, merchandise, um, organizations, honestly, you name it, I probably have Googled it at least three times. To be honest, I thought I did know a good amount of uh, information about the industry after all this being in management. And I had people ask me more and more questions about esports. And, you know, I found myself able to answer a lot of those questions. Unfortunately, one of the concerns I had about all this research is when I discovered how practical it is to actually succeed in the industry. And I say succeed with like a grain of salt. Success is different for every individual. For some, it's building a large following or making a large amount of money. While for others, it could be part of being a, being part of a small, tight community. In esports, most people tend to join organizations to help them achieve their success. If you're asking me, joining an organization is pointless because unless it's FaZe or 100 Thieves, you're not gonna get that bonus clout 
or subscriber boost you're hoping for. To be fair, organizations do have some perks, but it's not what most people think when they join. I mean, many people who join these organizations expect to be paid, get a ton of clout, and get a bunch of free shit. But in truth, most organizations don't make a ton of money. Um, a lot of the money-making organizations are through sales of merch, which those funds are used to cover competitive players, um, like compensations for tournaments and that sort of thing. If an organization is lucky, their competitive players will win some tournaments and bring back some of the funds which the team gets like a percentage from. However, the reality is that organizations offer a community to be part of. I mean, you can absolutely like make money in esports. I know this is sort of a rant, but to join a team um, with the whole purpose of making a ton of money, you're not going to get it. I mean, you really aren't. There's a ton of organizations out there and a lot of them are self-funded by individuals. So personally, I think it's a really shitty mindset to join an org and then be like, I'm a competitive Fortnite player. I want this much salary for each month. Like, fuck off, honestly. Like, ah, I don't know, sorry. How I said, I love orgs. I've been part of, I love the orgs I've been part of so far. I've made a ton of friendships, got to explore the competitive side of esports more and more. I've learned how to manage teams. Um, orgs, however, do come and go. A lot of it is due to greed or lies or toxic community, broken promises, you name it. And each day people are making new, more and more orgs. Um, but then orgs are also falling apart every day. Mostly, like, it's just, ah, uh, I think it's Aura that fell apart recently because a bunch of drama. But personally, I think the best benefit for joining an org is because, I don't know, it, it's just the community of it. I can't emphasize enough about how great a successful organization is and the community that goes along with it. <laughs> um, however, a lot of people do just want to join orgs, with that said, to be part of a community and slap that team's name on their profile on Twitter. Um, however, like my favorite part about these orgs is that the successful ones pull it off great. I mean, the members are all happy, people love them. But my favorite thing to see with orgs is I love the ones that fall apart and collapse. I mean, it's such a toxic outlook, but I mean, <sighs> I always love reading the reasons of why like they fall apart, like scandals or false promises or beef between members. Like, God, I love that. That's like what fuels me nowadays. Um, I get so excited when scrolling through Twitter and I see an org issue out a tweet longer. Like, it kills me. I love it. But like I said, <laughs> Uh, before you have the mindset of making money when joining these things, you should be looking to join these orgs for networking reasons and to find a community that fits you and that you enjoy. Like, so I guess to sum this whole rant up, um, do you need to join a team to make it big? No, you don't. However, if you want a game and you want to play with other like-minded individuals, with the same dream as yours, then join the org. It might have some perks for you. I believe that esports are here to stay for a while. New games will come out and old games will go. And the scene will have its stars and its legends. But I can guarantee esports are here to stay. Fortnite, however, can disappear because, like, honestly, who even plays that game nowadays? Like, I know Tifu and Ninja do did, but honestly, everyone should bring back, like, GoldenEye 007 uh, for N64. Like, Hell, that would be amazing entertainment. Anyways, thank you for listening to my esports rant. I know it wasn't really structured <laughs> too well. Um, but yeah, and it was mostly just kind of a conversation about organizations. But also, we made it 300 subscribers. Woo! You're all amazing. You're all sexy. And I really just at some point want to make something special for it. However, I really want to hear your guys' opinions about organizations and esports. Personally, just clout chasers can go fuck off. That's my op opinion of it. When you have a bunch of like-minded individuals that want to make a uh, community and work together, you will get something special from it. But anyways, Badwick is out. <laughs>